Next question. So I just wanted to ask you what are your thoughts about the uh, uh, Ashkenaz? I wanted to ask about the future of OSU and Action, OSU Cheat in Action, and how involved are you in the community projects like uh, Circle Guard, etc. I didn't get that one. Anti cheat. Anti cheat. Yeah, anti cheat and cheat in action in general, and community projects regarding it. Um. So as I touched earlier, it's, there's going to be like a separate subsystem which deals with this. Um, you know, cheating and anti-cheat is like, I could talk about that for hours alone. So it's very hard to like answer a question like that. But um, uh, we, like I generally have the approach of being reactive. So if there is suddenly this huge... Um, influx of cheaters using this new cheat will deal with it at that point because uh, it's very hard to keep up with people developing cheats when you're trying to actually, um, you know, we're a very small team. So I think there was another question, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's very hard to keep up. If we, if we actually tried to focus and get ahead of the cheaters, which we, we have done you know, in, in a year gone by, um, we wouldn't actually make any forward progress on the game. And I prefer to spend my time on the people that are actually uh, using the game correctly. Uh, so, so the real goal is to make sure that cheaters, anyone, anyone um, you know, foul playing in the game isn't affecting the normal user base. Whether that means like isolating them away or, you know, taking um, preemptive action, even if they may not be a cheater, just to get them away from visibility until we can actually uh, do something about them. And I think right now we're in a pretty good place as far as um, Andy Jeet goes. Uh, Earlier this year, we did a few really large uh, ban waves and just some changes to our algorithms that automatically detect cheaters. And they've been working quite well. We got like 10,000 um, active users off the leaderboards in one go. And yeah, I think we'll just keep going in that direction. Like as, as the community brings these issues to light, uh, it's, I, I really like when people use like uh, Reddit, OS Report, or even OS Game to like bitch about cheating and when these things come up because we need the visibility. We're not constantly looking at the leaderboards. We don't see these things happen. Quite often they're dealt with um, you know, before we even see them, before we even see the users because there's a huge list of automated processes in place. So I do encourage people to uh, let us know if they, if you, you know, get annoyed at a cheater or anything in the game. Really, not just cheating, but if something is annoying you, let us know. Whether that be emailing me or tweeting at me or, you know, um, there's been there's been a few cases over like the last year where there's a bug in the game or something that's been going wrong, and someone will bring it to light on Reddit and be like, this thing sucks. Why, why does this not work? And I'm like, holy crap, I didn't know that didn't work. And meanwhile, it's getting like 1,000 upvotes. It's like everyone knew but me. So I like to be told when something isn't working, when something is, you know, not working, at, 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 n not enjoyable for the player base. Well, I just had like a last question. Uh, yeah. So, what are your thoughts on client side uh, cheat detection or anti cheat? Would you ever give that a try again, or would we, would be that like uh, invasive to privacy? Because I know in the past there was something, there was some drama or something a few years ago regarding you being able to screenshot it was uh, like screens or something. Did you hear that? Can you talk? Yeah, yeah. Come up, come up, come up here. Come to the stage. Are you ready to try client 
side and my cheeks again because Fine in the side. past there was uh, some drama a few years back about people being concerned uh, about their privacy. Yep. So are you going to give a uh, client side a uh, chance again? Uh, client side anti cheat. So we do we do still have some. Um, we've taken out all the stuff which we could potentially violate people's privacy. Uh, there's still mixed thoughts about that. Like, I think it worked really well, and I can understand why people don't like having it there. Um, uh, these days, I probably agree that it shouldn't have been there ever. But you know, that was a very good era for us. We caught basically every cheater using that, using what we had in place. So, yeah, uh, you know, we're we're, we're going to keep trying things, and um, there will be more client side stuff. But it's never going to be something which actually you know violates privacy because that just doesn't work. But you will strive for stuff that's more like VAC and it's more service. Um, so, so VAC, I don't know that much about VAC these days, but I do know that it used to, I, it probably still does like submit processes and hmm. it does a lot of the stuff we used to do. There was uh, drama with VAC like similar to like this where they basically uploaded your whole DNS cache yeah. to their servers. Uh, and you know, it, it makes it very easy to catch people. If you if you actually go to that 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 extent, uh, we won't be doing that. <laughs> we won't ever read from other processes' memory or anything like that. But but I do plan on. I don't want to give away the stuff I have yeah, planned yeah. because then it's like okay. it, it's a cat and mouse game, right? Once once the cheaters find out how we are detecting them, then that yeah. that effort is lost forever. That's always like that in gaming. Yeah. Just yeah. Thank you for your time. No worries. <coughs> yeah, as I said, like I always, that, that's why I like to do things reactively. Is I, I, I mean, we could spend 100% of the time trying to combat this stuff, no, but no, it's no. It, uh, the um, there's like sites selling cheats out there for hundreds of dollars. Uh, we we actually did the calculations, and at one point, I don't know if I don't know in this point in history if that's true, but they were actually making more money than we were via supporter tags via their cheats. Um, and when they have that much at their disposal, and this is basically their full-time job just to break the game, meanwhile we're trying to like develop new systems and keep the community running, but also combat that, it's very hard to keep up. So it's about, it's about being efficient and reactive. Um, yeah. Next question.